Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to design steel connections using RAM Connection Standalone. RAM Connection Standalone is used for the design and detailing of steel connections. It can design individual shear, moment, brace, splice, and truss connection types to a variety of different steel design codes. In this series of videos, we will be focusing our attention on the steel connection workflow for designing gusset connections for a variety of different vertical bracing situations. The different vertical brace joints that we have available in RAM Connection Standalone include the column beam brace joint, the vertical X brace joint, a chevron brace, and also a column base with a gusset connection. Each of these different joints have different column, beam, and brace sections that are permitted to be used in that connection type, and several of these particular joints can also support seismic provisions. We will now turn our attention to the RAM Connection Standalone application. And as you can see, I've already set up several types of joints within this model that will require gusset style connections. For this video, I'm gonna be focusing on the currently selected joint, which is a VXB joint or vertical X brace. We are now at the point in our workflow where we're ready to assign a vertical X brace gusset connection to this joint. To start this process, we'll go to the design tab in the ribbon toolbar, click on our assign option, and then go to our gusset connection area. Through this area, we're looking for the acronym VXB for vertical X brace. RAM connection has assigned a connection to this joint, and then we'll be able to see that in the view window. Now after assigning a connection, you can also take a look in your joint selection area, which will indicate the status of your connection design. For my particular model, I can see that my interaction ratio is less than 1.0, and it is in green, which means that this has passed the code check. If I want to customize this connection per my company standards or review any of the detailing or results on this connection, I can go to the design tab in the ribbon toolbar and click on the edit icon. Since this is a gusset connection, I'm gonna select this option in the pull down menu. Now within the RAM connection pad, any of the options within the interface area can be customized per your standards or your detailing requirements. They're organized on what you're particularly working for on, on that moment. I have the gusset plate itself where I can customize the material and thickness of the plate. And I can also work on each individual braces connection to that particular gusset plate. Now here you can see that the default was to have a bolted connection. So basically a plate will be inserted in the HSS bracing section, and then that plate will be bolted to the gusset plate. I would like to go ahead and investigate the option of doing a directly welded connection. So I'm going to weld my bracing member directly to my gusset plate. So I can switch this bolted or welded option to a weld, and we can see what that will do for us. As I can see, the interaction ratio is immediately updated when I make changes. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make that change for the rest of my braces in this particular model. And then I'm going to review my results. Now that I've made some customizations to this particular gusset plate, I also want to ask the program to re-optimize the connection design. What this will do for me is it'll instruct RAM connection that I want to keep some of the customizations that I created, but then I want it to recheck things like length of welds and size of base plate and size of gusset plate and so forth. So in the ribbon toolbar, I'm gonna to click on this optimize icon and you can see that RAM connection rechecked this joint and suggested some changes such as changing the length of welds from the bracing sections to the gusset plate. Now, as I'm looking at this gusset plate, I feel that this connection design would satisfy my needs. So I'm ready to save this to my joint data. Now, if I'd like some additional information, I can also click on the results icon to bring up the steel connection report for this particular joint. 
Through this report, I'd be able to see all the design checks that were performed and any geometric considerations that were included. I'd be able to see their status and the code reference that led us to that connection. If I'd like some additional information, I can click on the View Formulas icon, and this will give me all the calculations and variables that were used to achieve these results. In addition to that, I can also review my DXF view to see how the detailing of this connection would be represented in a drawing format. I can customize the layers and the font information on this view. I can also export this to a DXF so I can reference it into either a MicroStation or an AutoCAD drawing. Now at this point, I am satisfied with my modifications I made. I did make changes, so I do need to save it to this particular joint, and then I can close out of the connection pad. As you can see, my detailing has now been updated. My results or interaction ratio have also been updated. And this would conclude my workflow for assigning a vertical X-brace gusset connection within RAM connection standalone. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.